All right, I received a box from New Egg today, and inside of it, it contained two items. The first of which is what we're going to unbox here. It is a fan from Corsair, the SP120, the high performance edition. Um, I bought this fan to. There's a. My, my computer has uh, four 120 millimeter fans in it, three of which are case fans, and the other one is the CPU cooler. Um, that goes on my uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. That fan, the one on the on the CPU cooler, when it starts at low RPM, it rattles, and as it ramps up to cool down, like when I'm in a game or something, uh, it goes through series of stages where it rattles, and it's definitely detectable. Um, my wife has even commented on it as she's walked by the um, by the house, or by, not by the house, by the by the computer, thinking I've got a fan, a, a, a wire caught in the fan or something. Um, but I bought this this fan for for uh, a couple of reasons. One is I'm hoping that it's going to give me just slightly better cooling than that stock fan, and two, I'm hoping that it's going to be quieter. Um, the third reason I bought it was because. Um, Jay from uh, Jay's Two Cents, he has a, um, a Corsair 900D and a custom water cooling loop and stuff that has a ton of these in it. And um, uh, I don't know that he necessarily recommends it or anything, but if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take the knife cut the plastic and open up the box. Alright, first things first. They definitely mean for these boxes to stay closed. I'm probably going to end up ripping it as I open it. There it goes. I did rip it a little bit, but... Alright. You know, most people will talk about the outside of the box and stuff, but I mean, you can get most of this information from uh, Corsair's website, and it's, you know, b by the time you get to the box, you're really not too concerned about what it says here. Um, it's inside of another cardboard box. The fan itself comes out very nicely. It's got some heft to it. Um, I'm actually surprised at how at how heavy that is. Um, I will, now that I feel it, I'm kind of worried about it being on that um, Hyper 212 Evo, but we'll see. Um, it the cable. It is a PVM um, um, fan, so it's got four connectors. The um, the cable is not threaded, but it or not threaded, braided. It's not braided, but it is flat, so it you it, you should be able to tuck it away pretty easily. Uh, it this one came with the blue outline, but inside the box, under the nice convenient cardboard false bottom, there is a white ring and. A red ring. I'm probably going to end up with the red ring when it's all over with because the inside of my case is actually the motherboard's black and gold. Um, my power supply is black. The cables that I've got are black. Um, so nothing here accents well with gold. So I'll, I'll, I'll probably just end up with the red one on it. Not that it matters because nobody's going to see it. Um, you get your warranty pamphlet. This is not a card, it's a pamphlet. Let's see. See if it says how long it is. Two years. Two year warranty. Very nice. So I'm going to hang on to that for 
phone numbers and such. And then here is their solutions pamphlet. Solutions guide 2012, so it's even out it's outdated a year already. But it's it's basically things like, oh, here's here's other things that Corsair sells. Um keyboards, power supplies, cases, etc., etc., etc. All right. So let's see. That's pretty much the unboxing that I mean there's nothing else in here that I can see. No. I do hear something. What is that? Oh, there's a little packet here. I don't know if you can see this. Little packet of screws for the fan. Um, in my application, I'm not going to need it because uh, I'm going to use the Hyper 212 Evos um, clips to actually mount the fan. Uh, they're the coarse fans, so, I mean coarse um, threaded deal, so they'll go through uh, the plastic rubber connectors here. Um, that's one thing that I do like about it is is the design, and sorry for flipping this around and moving it out of the way here, but it's got, um, it's not really rubber, but it's plastic but it does have some give to it so these little grommets here should help with vibration um, and they set off of the case or I mean of the frame itself so hopefully that'll give me just enough room to where when this fan does vibrate I mean I'm, it it's when it when it first spins up it has to vibrate I mean there's no, no two ways about it but as it vibrates it that should give it some cushion and hopefully re reduce the noise um, I like the color. I like those rings and the way that you can interchange them. And supposedly you should just, should just be able to take a, well, look at that. I just pulled the blue one off. I mean, it, it, it really just was that easy. Uh, each of the corners here has a groove that the ring has a slot in that will fit into. So basically you just have to line them up snap them in place and hopefully that will lock them down awesome there's the red uh oh I don't have it in there right because it's got the there we go there is a um, on the inside of the ring so I can get this. There's a channel. You may be able to see that right there. Um, on the fan itself, let me pop this red one off real quick. He said. There it goes. On the fan itself, there's a ridge. You may not be able to see it with this black. But there's a ridge right around here that that, that groove um, goes over top of. And, I, and that keeps it from binding the fan itself. Which is what I had done. I, one of those um, ridges weren't weren't on, so I'm going to put this back real quick. And what I'll do is I will install this and see if my um, desire for slightly better cooling and significantly less noise is um, is brought to, brought to fruition so uh, I'll, I'll I'll give you an update later on later on Twitter or um, I may even make a make a slightly um, um, that's what I'll probably do is I'll probably just just make another little small video and tack it on the end of this one see how that turns out um, my my headset microphone is not sensitive enough for me to pick it up pick that noise up but my ears are so um, anyway this has been my unboxing 
of the, let me close this back here real quick of the Corsair SP120 cooling fan, high performance cooling fan. And I'll be back in a few with the results of the noise and the cooling. All right. Thanks. I was able to get the Corsair SP120 fan installed in my ma machine tonight and I can happily report that the rattling is gone uh, which was one of two things that I was after um, at low RPMs the SP120 is actually quieter than the stock fan that came with the uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo I actually expected that and also what I expected is once the SP120 revved up under under heavy load I actually expected it to be louder simply because it turned at a higher RPM I think the um, um, the stock fan on the 212 Evo uh, maxes out at 1800 RPM if I'm not mistaken this one ramps up to well over 2200 I think it's 2350 or something like that while I don't think it ever hit that it definitely got louder just fan noise but no rattling at all which was wonderful um, the second thing I was after was uh, slightly improved cooling and while I don't have any stats to prove this because I don't have stats from beforehand what I can tell you is that under normal non-load it seems to run about what the the stock fan did low 30s um, and the ambient temperatures is about that because because my wife likes to keep it warm warm in the house um, so low 30 degrees Celsius 29 30 30 31 degrees Celsius um, I did stress it a little bit and just to get the fan to ramp up and to see how how loud it would get and the I did a, a a three minute run on Prime 95 and the, the the temps got in the you know low 60s which is where I where I'd seen them before I've got my um, um, processor overclocked it's a Core i5 3570K uh, that normally runs at 3.4 gigahertz I've got it overclocked to turbo to where it'll go all the way up to 4.4 um, and it did hit 4.4 and it stayed there for, for about three minutes uh, and hit about 60, 61 degrees. Um, I'm happy with that because that's where the other one was in the first place. Um, I don't know that the fan actually hit its peak as far as um, speed goes, but I am happy that it did ramp up. It did keep the keep the um, processor about where my where, where the stock fan would, and it's quieter for for the most part. I mean, other other than that pure Prime 95 benchmark. Um, my my system never hits that kind of um, load. Uh, rendering re rendering videos it does, but that's about it. So overall, I'm happy with it. It's it's quieter than um, uh, the stock fan. It doesn't rattle, which was which is outstanding. Even using the stock clips um, that came with the with the 212 Evo. So overall, it's a thumbs up as far as I'm concerned. It's a great fan. Um, one thing that I, um, I'm checking on here, which I didn't get a reply from yet, the, um, a, as I showed earlier, the fan comes with three colored rings, red, white, and blue. And I also mentioned that it doesn't accent or go well with the black and gold theme that uh, is inside my computer. But I did notice that the that the plastic rings they had a texture, and I think that they would take spray paint real well. So if it doesn't come with the color that you want, you might be able to take one of the other colors and uh, and spray paint them and change the color. So uh, I'm waiting to hear back from Corsair. I I put a tweet out, but it's you know 10 o'clock Eastern time. I doubt that if that anybody's paying attention right now. It's New Year's Eve, so they're probably at parties and stuff. Hope they are anyway. Um, anyway. Again, thumbs up for the fan. It's quieter. It does its job, and, and makes me happy. So um, 
Leave me some feedback. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like it. But tell me why you don't like it. Tell me things that I can do better. Um, subscribe and uh, and come back and see us sometime. All right? We'll see you. Bye.